sneak and expect tonight. Tonight we've got Zevon OS 4. Now, I've not done a Zevon OS for quite a while. And it is by one of my favourite German people, old Les. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. I haven't actually had any contact with him for quite a while now. So I must try and get hold of him at some stage somewhere along the line, at like Google Plus or something. Anyway, Zevon OS. Based on Ubuntu, or Zubuntu, because it comes with XFCE, really. It's an XFCE base, okay? But to look like BEOS, or if you're younger, Haiku. And if you like this sort of thing, it's pretty cool. I think it is anyway. Yeah, it's really cool. So we've got over here, we've got a home file system, rubbish bin. We've got the BEOS, or Haiku icons. This is the main thing about it as well. Different icons, different themes, completely different to a normal distro reel, isn't it? But it's got a Ubuntu base, so it should be pretty stable. I've had no problems with it, but I've been running it for a couple of days now, so it should be cool, really. So yeah, down here, as you can see, I've got a couple of updates to do, really. I've done about a few of them already, but I ain't going to do these ones just yet. Okay, it is installed, by the way, just in case you want to ask. Okay, Zevon OS. Over here, we've got our little icons. We normally have a taskbar on the bottom. Here you get your mail, you get your web, you get your sound, you get your network, you get your time... And we're going to the menu, okay? So we click here. We have about find execute and preferences. As you can see, if you've tried Haiku, which quite a few of you might have, it looks identical. But there are some things missing that are in Haiku that are not in here, obviously, because Haiku is completely different. It's just the look and feel of it, okay? So you get equip there as well. And we get settings. So here you can have your additional drivers. This is how you can tell it's Bantu based, because you get these little bits and bobs here, okay? And oh, that's for your monitor, by the way, just in case you was asking. Language support, screensaver, software sources, that's enough of that one. Under accessories, here's how you can tell it's XFC based. You get that sort of stuff, don't you? Brazero is here, by the way, just in case you want to know. Docky is here too. Leaf pad, Orage, I like Orage. Screenshot, a Thunar file manager, that's pretty cool. And XPad. Development, you just get Genie for your text editor, that's alright by me. On the graphics, now I've actually installed a blender just to make sure the blender in the repositories works with OpenShot and it does, and I'll show you a little bit later. You also get a PDF document viewer, Gimpy is there, I do like a bit of Gimpy, Inkscape, Shotwell, and Simple Scan for your scanning. Under Internet, we get Claws Mail, as I've just said. Did I say? Well, I've said now. Firefox is your main baby here, although as it's Ubuntu based, you can have whatever you really want to. Lifeira for your feed reader, Pigeon, remote desktop viewer, transmission, 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 VPN CGUI, that's alright by me, XChat for your IRC stuff, all there for you, that's pretty nice, and multimedia, okay, Audacity, gotta be had really, gotta be there, a CD player, Dead Beef, Dead Beef, I don't, oh, I don't mind Dead Beef, but I might have changed that for a different one, but hey, I didn't make it, oh, Les did, geezer, what's are in German. Can somebody tell me that, by the way? Okay, you get record my desktop. Pretty cool. You want to do some desktop recording? Encode. I'm going to show you in a minute. We have GNOME M player for doing your M playing stuff. Watch your movies, my music as well. Actually, do if you want in that really, can't you? You get your mixer, open shot as standard, pulse audio, and YAVTD or YAVTD. I'll also show you that in a moment. Okay. Under Office, no LibreOffice here, you don't actually need them really. If you don't do much Office stuff, there's no point in having it. So Abbey Word and Gnumeric will do the bits for you. Now I'll open Abbey Word up just to see if he's put all the extras in. Well, I'm not sure if he has, I'll make it bigger. So you do different stuff here. That's close, that's big and small, bloody 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 blah. Go to File, Save As. Okay, what have we got? Oh, he's put quite a lot in there. Well done, Liz, mate. Well done, well done, well done. Cancel that. And we'll come out of that. Okay. Back to the menu. So we've done Office. Oh, by the way, Gina works in there anyway, as you know. And the system. Right. We get a bulk renamer. That's all right. A comp manager. Yeah, that's all right. A first configuration wizard also. And Jigla and HTOP. So let's open the HTOP up and have a look see what we're using, really. As you can see, it's actually running less than Zubuntu, which I rather like. It's not using hardly any of my CPU. There's no swap, of course. So happy days, happy days, happy, 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 happy. You know what? I'm going to leave that open. I'll just go back to the menu and do some other stuff, okay? So back to system. You get Maggie. So I do Maggie now? Yeah, I'll do Maggie 2 now. Okay. Open up Maggie 2. 
if you're used to KDE and stuff like that and GNOME, you, there's similar things in here, but here we have it called Maggie. And it's also in Haiku. So we get a file manager, archiver, find, screenshot, software install, console. We can go to office here, WordPress, spreadsheet, presentation, image editor, stuff like that. Go to your internet stuff here, web browser, email, you know, it's quite easy to use. There are rather like using it, um, and two I last done Haiku a while ago and it just broke for me, I was quite disappointed, but here it's pretty cool, works all the time. Development, of course you get editor, Gambas and Genie, as I said before, and also your settings, okay. I'm not going to go through the settings too much with you, but as you can see, Zevin OS, it's the 3.0012 kernel, nicey, 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 I like it, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So that's enough of that, that's enough of that, and that's enough of that. We go back to our menu. Right, what do I want to show you? Well, I'm going to multimedia. First, I'm going to show you encode. Now, basically, this will encode anything you really want to do. Okay, so you can convert files, create a VCD. You ever did, as I said before, but we'll come to that in a minute. And about. So we we'll click on about. <clears throat> there you go. Based on double FMPEG and Gambas 2. So okay. So if you want to convert a video file to a different format or size and the audio, it's all here for you to use. Before you say, well, it can't be very good. Well, actually it's very good, I have used it. So like, if you want to select the output video codec, got lots to choose from there, and I'm sure there's more you can add, okay? The same goes for the audio codecs, there's more you can add, but the basic ones are there for you to use. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's that out of the way. Back to our menu, back to multimedia, Yevted. Basically, this is a download thing for downloading videos that are online, so on YouTube or any other internet. I'll start that again. Internet video site, and you can just put the URL in here. It should download it. You can either just play it or play and convert it to another format or just extract the MP3. Now, whether this is legal in certain countries, I'm not going to say. Personally, I wouldn't do it because it could be quite illegal here in the UK and probably in Germany and the rest of Europe. But it is here, okay? So, you know. I'm not condoning it, but it's there for you to use. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what you do? Okay, back up to here. Settings. What else was I going to show you? I forgot where it's gone now. It's gone. 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 No, no, no. I can't remember now. It's gone. Anyway. Oh, yeah. System. Back to that. Where are we? You also get the Windows wireless drivers, although most of them should work out of the box. But as it's, if it's Ubuntu based, which I'm not sure of, it won't have all of them. But if it's Ubuntu based, it will have. Don't ask me why, but that's how it works in the field. For anybody from the canonical or anything, that's how it works in the field. You don't seem to get everything in the other distros. But that might not be down to them, that might be down to the other guys, okay? Right, on the whole, if you want the look and feel of BOS or Haiku, and a lot more stability for the time being, I will try the new Haiku soon. It's been updated quite a lot, apparently, so I'll go and have a look at that very soon. If you like the look and feel of it, it's very nice. It's really sprightly. It works really cool. So yeah. Right. Shall I rate it? Right. People have been saying to me, oh, your rating system's out of five. It's not very good. Okay. I'm going to make it out of a hundred now. Zevin OS for its stability, its look and feel, because I like the look and feel of BOS Haiku. Very, 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 very good. Unfortunately, at the moment, some things have been crashing on me. Yeah, at least a little bit, and I'll show you what's, that's what I was going to show you. I'll show you what was crashing on me. Here we go. Where are we? Well, I'll find it in a minute. It was under system. I'm actually looking at oh, there it is, the software center. I've had a little bit of trouble with the Ubuntu software center. Oh, it does, although it does look very, very nice here when it eventually starts up, that is. Yeah, there we go. I've had that in all recent Ubuntu's basically. It always takes a while to start up. Yeah, must be me. Although the kernel does need updating, that's why I've not updated it at the moment. But as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Don't you think? So I make that bigger. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look. The look and feel of it is really nice. It's really BOS-y. And I like the look and feel of it. So yeah, that's my little gripe out of the way anyway. So yeah, what shall I give it out of 100? Usability, feel, look coolness because it is pretty cool in it don't you think i think it's really cool really 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 cool zevin os i'm going to give 80 percent 80 percent so that makes you all feel better super bleeding duper sneaky linux going out i see you later bye bye
Thank <laughs> you.